Hi, I'm Ken Hinckley, assistant coach of the Gold Coast Suns. What we want to do is show you on a week-to-week -week basis some of the reviews that we go through with our players. First edit I want to show you this week is an edit involving a stoppage and it ends up with Melbourne getting a shot on goal. What we like to look for is that the players and the source of that uh, shot at goal, where it came from. As we go through this edit, you'll see that Brandon Matera had an opportunity there to gather the ball and missed. We had a tackle where it falls out to a Melbourne player, an opportunity to, to win a contested ball where we again miss, a little fumble which allows Melbourne to get their hands on the ball. So after a contested situation, what you think is a pretty simple situation for Carmichael to defend turns out very hard. And that's a good kick to Dunn. Got him to the right side. The second edit we want to show is an edit where the players are learning to defend by coming at the opponent and that's what AFL football is all about at the moment. It's about that frontal pressure from opposition sides. You'll see here Melbourne with the ball running down the ground. We've got good pressure on them. We get players running at them and then we see again Brandon Matera just backing away from his opponent which has caused us to uh, lose ground positioning which makes Michael Coe come up to the player. He's asking his teammates to come up and help defend and again we're just a little bit slow to get in those positions which allows the Melbourne player to get out the back. So again, it's a source. It's not where the ball starts or finishes, it's how it got there. Now I want to show you a couple of edits where we do some really positive stuff and, and how the Suns are able to attack when we get hold of the ball and, and defend the ground well first. See Melbourne running the ball out of their back line, we got them under pressure. We have boys coming up at their opponents and then we use the ball quickly by hand because we're in time and space and we get the ball through the corridor and kick it to an even number forward line contest which big Zach Smith gets a chance to mark for us. Great edit for us. Well the last edit I want to show you is a kicking structure for us uh, where we work hard each week to try and get the right structure. We have sides that play with an 18 man zone now and you can see all the Melbourne defenders up in the screen making it very difficult for us to get out. We have to find opportunities to find a hole in their zone. And as you can see here, there's a clear opportunity for us as a team to make the most of this. So when they present themselves, the players have to be ready to take them. As we let it unfold, you'll see Carmichael Hunt, who's actually acknowledged that there's a spot there to go to. We get the ball into a most dangerous spot on the ground, a given block, great protection, and then great vision from David Swallow to hit the ball over the top to Josh Fraser. That's almost the perfect edit to beat an 18-man zone. Hopefully that gives you an insight into the team and the way we're trying to develop the boys. I look forward to seeing you all again next week with some more edits of the Gold Coast Suns playing football.